My name is Julie Dufour and uh, I'm a Danish architect and educator and um, I'm self-employed and uh, what I do is I teach uh, children and learners as, as well as uh, educators and I teach design and architecture and um, I'm working at the Danish Architecture Centre and I'm also at the Children's Culture House uh, AMA apart from doing uh, workshops uh, for different municipalities like Copenhagen Municipality and I'm also doing uh, workshops um, for children in hospitals bringing in design workshops I truly believe uh, in uh, educating children and, uh, and learners because if you gain knowledge and you get uh, tools and language and insight into uh, our surroundings, design, architecture, then, uh, then you can actually come forward with what you think should uh, be uh, uh, the design of tomorrow. And it's just amazing because children uh, have actually got a very good sense of, for instance, space. And, um, and I can see that. It's like um, um, I have children attending architecture in their spare time. Just like you, attend, uh, you, you, you might learn to play uh, guitar, for instance, but these uh, children are attending architecture. And it's just amazing, you know, when you're not trained into it, they have the most wonderful visions and ideas. But it's, of course, it's very important that, uh, that to be able to add form to your visions. And uh, the good thing about design and architecture is, uh, like in schools, uh, it, uh, you can actually apply it to all subjects um, like I have um, I have for instance sometimes I teach uh, math and architecture and I might have a child who's not very good with books you know and certainly uh, the child will understand like scale like in uh, if you if a child is building a, a model you know in say the scale 1 to 50 certainly the child will realize hey I'm actually using my math you know and uh, so being creative using your imagination I think that's really really important and what I also think is really important is uh, it's really learning by playing and uh, together with Melina Abergol um, we've written this book uh, Build, Draw and Learn with world famous architects and it's really because uh, until now uh, it's been really hard to find uh, books on hands-on exercises into the universe of uh, design and architecture so so this is uh, and it's both in Danish and English <laughs> and we're planning on a new book soon I think it's really important that we uh, inspire the future generation and uh, of course there's so many ways of doing this uh, but I can see like uh, actually uh, for designers and architects to actually go into schools and uh, teach them about uh, their work methods you know bringing bringing that to the children I think that's a very good way of doing it working of course closely together with the teachers but also uh, training the teachers teachers into okay so how can you actually apply design methods in uh, in school projects <laughs>